Yeah, I think one of the things you put in the book, which, like I said, it was kind of a, one of those wonderful light bulb moments, and there's many, many of those in this book, was that, you know, we store the sugar we eat in our muscles and our liver. And if we have less muscle, we have less storage capacity for that glycogen, which means our bodies have to store it as fat. And so when we start talking about, you know, the things like having prediabetes and diabetes, the cause might not just be what we're eating because what we were eating was probably fine for us. It was the fact that we've lost so much muscle mass. We just don't have the storage capacity for it anymore. And that's causing us the problems. Yeah. And that would lead to increase in inflammation. When we store body fat around organs, that will also start producing those cytokines uh, and, and, and so on. It, you know, just uh, we create creating havoc for our body if we cannot store the glycogen where it's supposed to go in the muscle or replenishing the liver storage. Yeah, it makes total sense. And, and the, then other, you... the other, sorry, Alan, I was just going to say the other side of that is, is glycogen is stored in the muscles. Well, a lot of it is stored in the large muscles. What in the book we call uh, the powerhouse muscles or the, the fast twitch muscles. And, and that glycogen is only depleted with intense exercise. So with intense exercise, you can, you can basically empty the, the muscles or not empty them, but deplete them of the glycogen. So then the storage space becomes available again.